NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Time for another look at the weather now, and you're looking at a live picture from the roof of our television station here in South Burlington. It's 56 degrees out there. What a beautiful evening it's shaping up outside, Tyler. Yeah, we've got a warm front close by, so Mansfield still looks mm -hmm. kind of snowy, but you ever look up and go, oh, you can tell it's melting when it kind of looks a little darker or brown? Mm -hmm. That's kind of the situation today. But we've got an update from the st uh, snow stake high atop the mountain. Here it comes, 64 inches of snow depth. So clearly that yellow line where it jumps right there, that was the snowstorm early in the week. It sent the depth up two feet, still not to average. Usually or average on this date is 72 inches. So we're still a little below and obviously melting right now. Got a cool shot of the Georgia Mountain Community Wind Farm from our Plattsburgh camera, Lake Champlain in the middle. So little ice left on uh, well, the big areas of water, Joe's Pond still has ice. We're glued to that as well, watching the ice out contest. 49 degrees in the Lake City right now. And Brattleboro, this is a cool shot because there's a couple of rain showers in southern Vermont. See that dark cloud just north of Brattleboro? And you'll see on Storm Tracker in a second where these showers are. It's 63 there, so warmest in southern Vermont, out in the uh, western Adirondacks as well, and certainly as you go off south and west, 71 in Syracuse. So most of us have the increasing sunshine right now, but in southern Vermont, this band of clouds and showers, particularly in the Brattleboro area. Now the radar being fairly high above the ground right here, so it looked like it was a heavy shower, but I think a lot of this dried up right above town. Uh, but a couple of sprinkles at least in the area. And then as we go through this night, we've got uh, quiet patterns setting up, but still some intervals of clouds for tomorrow morning. You'll see clouds, some sunshine as we go through the day. So it's kind of like it was today. Temperatures still in the 50s in most cases. Thursday night, though, uh, so tomorrow night into Friday morning, we've got this big area of rain coming in. And there will be some higher elevation wet snow in these blue pockets. So northern New York, the Green Mountains, the White Mountains, generally temperatures will be above freezing. So anywhere it does snow, it would be a very wet snow once again, maybe a couple of inches of it. I think it has difficulty sticking to the roads where it is snowing because it's so warm. But maybe Friday morning in this blue area, on 89 in the higher elevations. It may get a little slushy, a little slippery for a brief time. And then the sun comes up, the mix moves out, and things are fine during the day Friday. Clouds, a couple of sunny breaks, but then another round of showers of rain and snow Friday night as we get set for the weekend. So how much rain? Half inch seems like a good bet for a lot of us. I know this has an inch here along Route 4, so there may be more than a half inch. But the other thing we're watching for is this whole band might shift north a little. Some other indications are wetter here from Messina to Plattsburgh to Newport. So just keep that in mind. But right now, the best snow potential high up is really right through the middle of our area. So from about Mount Marcy to Killington, uh, to eh, about Tenney Mountain there in uh, Grafton County. Could be a couple of inches of wet snow Friday morning, but I don't think much sticks in the lower elevations, mostly just rain down low. 48 on Friday with the clouds, a spot shower Saturday. Saturday is the drier weekend day because we've got more showers Sunday than mountain snow for early next week, especially on Monday. Jack, Liz.